I wanted to make it, and I was going to make it regardless of what anybody said. I love music so much, man. This is my passion. Rap is just, you know, it's, it's, it's everything to me. I feel like, um, you know, I, I really believe in freedom of speech. I can't even stress that enough. I feel like, especially artistic expression, you know, I believe an artist should be an artist and be able to say whatever he wants to say, whether, whether you think it's good or bad, you know. This is my world. This is, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I do. This is what I do. This is what I do. Well, I came up through the hip hop scene, the local hip hop scene in Detroit. You know, everything back then was just about battling. I mean, if you wanted to make a name for yourself, the battle scene was also, it was, it was so huge. I mean, there was battles every couple months where, you know, anybody who was anybody was trying to make a name for themselves would come out. I would have written lines, I would have punch lines, you know, that I'd be prepared to, to say at any time and I would kind of figure out, kind of on the spot, like what punch lines I would pick and choose for this person that was in my face, but also be able to mix freestyle in with it. That would be the basic formula I would follow, is have my punch lines ready to go, you know, but also be able to, to say something spontaneous too. Spontaneous too. I think one of my greatest inspirations or, or, or things that I would feed off of basically was just obviously people not believing in the, you know, the cloud of doubt that kind of, I felt, hung over my head and wanted to just prove everybody, just wrong. Prove everybody wrong. Lately I've been hard to reach, I spent too long on my own and everybody has a quiet Are you calling me? Are you trying to get through? Are you reaching out for me like I'm reaching out? The first time I grabbed the mic, like though, like in front of actual people that mattered, you know what I'm saying? Like at a, at a club, I got booed. I remember that. It was very traumatic for me. And I think I went home like, man, I'm, I'm, I quit. I gotta get up, gotta do it again, gotta do it again, gotta do it again. You know, I call it stacking ammo, you know, and I'll stack my ammo until I get enough and then I'll go write something. Every time there's a new issue or something that comes up and needs to be addressed, that's how I explain it through my music and express myself through my music. I was reserved and I was shy and had it in me but wasn't quite sure how to bring it out yet. I wanted people to hear me so bad. Like, I'm not gonna front. Like, sometimes it gets hard to try to balance them out, but I'm a father before I'm a rapper. So, you know, my daughter comes first no matter what, and if there's important things going on in her life that I need to be there for, then I'll drop what I'm doing. I'm certainly blessed to be in the position that I'm in, but, um, you know, and, and to, to have a career as long as I've had. Um, but there's something about those days that was, was special, you know, it was that, that, that time period, just being young and, and uh, just not knowing what exactly was going to happen and kind of the, the, the thrill of the chase, it was, it, it almost made it fun, you know. I feel like anybody can do anything they set their mind to. It depends on how bad you want it, and I wanted to do it. You know, at this stage of my life, I, I don't feel like there's too much that I can't do. I don't mean to sound cocky, enough, but if I like really, really want to do it, I don't give up that easy. This is music. This is my art. This is what I do. This is my story. This is my story. This is my Anybody out there feels like I'm talking to myself. No one seems to know my struggle and everything I come from. Yeah. Anybody hear me? Oh, I guess I keep talking to myself. Feels like I'm going insane. Am I the one who's crazy?